Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and you are watching another WebGuy YouTube channel and welcome to another video of HTML tutorial series and in this video, we are going to see some more HTML elements. So without wasting any time, let's get started. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos. So you can see here, based on the previous video, I have created a small template in which I have used the h1 tag, the p tag, the hr and the br tags. So now first we'll learn how to add images in our html document. For that I have already selected the image and I have kept it in the same folder where the index.html file is located. You will find the link to the image in the description below. So to use this image in our HTML document, we'll use the img tag. Under the img tag, we have two attributes, the src attribute and the alt attribute. The src stands for source. In this, we have to write the path or the URL of the image. So I'm just writing the image name because our image and the index.html file is in the same folder. The alt attribute stands for alternate text. The alt attribute provides an alternate text for an image if the user for some reason cannot view it like if is having a slow connection or if the user is using a screen reader. The value of alt attribute should describe the image. If the browser cannot find an image it will display the value of alt attribute. In case you want to change the height and the width of this image just use the height and the width attribute. Using images in HTML is a topic in itself and we'll cover it in more detail in some other video. But this is enough for now. Now we'll learn how to create lists in HTML. Lists are of two types, ordered lists and unordered lists. First, let's see what are ordered lists. An ordered list starts with the ol tag. Each list item starts with the li tag. The list items will be marked with numbers by default in an ordered list. Next is an unordered list. An unordered list starts with the ul tag. Each list item starts with the li tag same as an ordered list. The list item will be marked with bullets by default. After this, we'll learn how to create tables in HTML. An HTML table is defined with the table tag. Each table row is defined with the tr tag. A table header is defined with the th tag. By default, table headings are bold and centered. The table data inside of rows is defined by the td tag. The td elements are the data containers of the table. They can contain all sorts of HTML elements like text, images, lists and other tables etc. As you can see, I am copying and pasting the tr tags to create 4 rows. You can create as many rows as you want.
As you can see, the table which we have created is pretty boring right now. So we need to style this table. Setting the style of an HTML element can be done with the style attribute. In the style attribute, you can define various properties and their values. These properties and values are CSS properties and CSS values. We will learn about CSS properties in much greater detail in the CSS tutorials. Here for the table, we will define the width to be 100%, we will set the border as 1 pixel solid and we will align all the table information in the center of the table by using the text align property. We will use this style attribute to make our page more beautiful but first let's see how to add links in our HTML document. HTML links are defined with the HTML A tag. The href attribute specifies the destination address of the link. Just go to Google, search for cute dog, go to images, copy the address from the address bar and paste it in the href attribute. The link text is the visible part which you see on the web page. Clicking on the link text will send you to the specified address. Now the point here to note is a link does not have to be text. It can be an image or any other HTML element between the A tags. So you can see that we have created a web page for our dog and it's already looking very beautiful but we'll add formatting and styling to our web page to make it even more beautiful. We will first change the color of our heading and the tagline by using the style attribute. If you want to display italic text, you can use the I element or the M element. Here we are going to use the M element to italicize our text. The M element stands for emphasized text. For creating bold text, you can either use the B element or the strong element. Let's see how it works. Similarly, we can also underline our text using the U element. So congratulations, you have created a beautiful web page. So go ahead and do some experiment, change things and see how they work. Before we end this video, let's recapitulate on what we did. We first added an image and then uh, we saw how we can change its height and width. After that we created some ordered list. Those were the list for creating the numbered bullets. After that we saw unordered lists. These are the lists which are used for creating bullets without any numbering. After that we created a table using the table tag. In that we used tr tag for the table rows, the th tag for the table heading and the td tag for the table data that is the data inside the rows. After that we saw how to create a link element and finally we saw how to use the style attribute and the formatting elements to format our html page. That's all for today, see you later.
Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you learned something. If you are new here, consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.